What's happening everybody? Suburban Hiker kicking rocks on day 49 of my 500 mile walk. I'm here at McCoy's Creek Trail in Buchanan, Michigan, uh, Berrien County. I've never been on McCoy's Creek. I've done a bit of research. I'll talk about it as I go along. I think it is a four mile trail, eight miles from here from beginning to end and back. I'm not sure. We'll check in with the uh, Map My Walk app to find out for sure. And I will uh, stop and read trail signs and data and fill you in. I have a little bit of research knowledge that I did. Uh, I'll talk about that as I go along. Anyhow, let's get started. Here's something cool I didn't notice on the way in to the west side uh, or the west trail. Cactus planted here on this terraced off edge. How oh, cool. Of course that's private property. Not more private property. Now we're coming to the end of the western section of the trail. Right up here. This comes back out. It'll be Oak Street. We're retracing our steps. I hear a lot of lawn maintenance going on. All right, I am back on Oak Street. Here's the condemned building that we looked at earlier. I don't know if the entire building has yeah, the electricity still on. An interesting building. It's on the corner of Oak and Chicago Street here. Fireman's Park. I may not follow the exact footsteps back. I, uh, I may cut downtown. Uh, see what we see. Get footage of that. Small town. USA. Let's see what happens when I get there. It's an interesting little feature I did not expect to see down here. New Cannon. An electric charge station. You can charge up your electric car. This is Front Street. We'll go down it. Let's see what we see. There's floral baskets hanging. Pretty sure this is the heart of downtown Buchanan, Michigan. It looks to be about two blocks long. I love small towns. Your ritual salon. Hopefully the camera isn't picking up the breeze we're walking directly into. This property has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior of the Union Block 1863 Ross and Alexander. Historic District. The road we walk down is up that way. Just a couple blocks. I'll probably hang a left up here. The next road. Live music? No. Just music. McCoy Creek Tra Tavern. They're open. Be a good day for a beer if I was much of a drinker, but I'm not. I drink if I'm out, but I don't go out to drink. It's not something I ever really much cared for. I mean, I've drank my share, to be sure. 
but whatever. Anyhow, we're gonna go left up here by the Phillips 66. That should, that should take us back towards uh, the trail I want. Matter of fact, I think we're gonna go down this. Check this out, I just noticed this. How cool. <laughs> Maybe this is the Buchanan River Walk. How neat. Maybe you'd think they'd have some benches or a picnic table up there. I know I would. Looks like we have a little more here. What do we have? Looks to be about three foot deep, four foot deep maybe. How cool. And apparently it goes under the road there. There's the road. Huh. How interesting. Okay, I'm not sure where I'm at. Here's the gas station. So we're on the back side of that. Cut through this parking lot. See where we come out. I think that BP gas station up there is uh, the corner of the trail. We have this over here. I think I'm going to cross here. This is North Redbud Trail. I'm going to cross here. I'm going to go through here just in case there's something cool. I don't know, we'll see. I don't see any sidewalks, but I also don't see much traffic, so I think we'll be okay to just walk it. Could just be an industrial parking lot. Or, you know what, actually, I think this is where we did come out at. I think this might be the trail it is this huh, this is where we come out at it wasn't up there at the BP I remember seeing this UPS box and uh, I remember thinking it was interesting that the sidewalk we had a just the way the sidewalk went through here I do believe yep this is well, I'm glad I didn't walk up to the BP there. There's the creek down in there. So now we're back on the trail. Here's some of the trail signs. I wonder, wonder if the trail officially goes that way. I don't know. It very well could. Maybe I got off trail. Maybe the, uh, maybe the map I was provided was, uh, a little too vague for me to follow. Maybe I got distracted. Who knows? Some more fit trail data. For those of you in Buchanan that want to be a bit more fit, I'll just come out here on your own trail. There's exercise stops. There's the data you need. It tells you what to do. Side bends, cooling down. Make it a habit. The official trail signs. Yeah, we are quickly approaching the east end of McCoy's Creek Trail. We're getting close to the end of the trail. The only thing left to do that we haven't done is to go over those footpaths and that wooden bridge, little walk path, when we get back to that part. We'll see what happens. Well, it is just about four o'clock in the afternoon in the shaded area of McCoy's Creek Trail here on the East Trail. Looking for our footpath that'll take us down by the creek and whatnot. It's, uh, we're just over six miles into the hike. 
it can't be much longer I'm gonna guess it's about a seven mile hike altogether I don't know we'll see how long this footpath is when I find it how to get down there that might be another mile or so we'll figure it out I am now starting to get hungry very hungry all of a sudden as I mentioned I have not eaten yet today so now I'm getting hungry and of course I'll probably go home and just eat a peanut butter sandwich okay I think this is our wooden or our earthen footpath that's quite the slide it's not a st step I'm not sure I'm ready to go down that because I don't see a clear path across the creek I'm gonna I'm gonna continue walking around and I think there's a park over here back on the other side I'm gonna see if there's a path an actual path I think the path we just looked at was not an official path if I don't find anything else I'll come back to it and see where it leads I don't really want to get my feet wet today I'd rather not get these shoes soaking wet uh, I have another pair of shoes that I'd rather wear if I'm gonna hike through the water okay well here's what happened there's a little clearing it honestly looks like they were making a trail I don't know if this is an official trail or not I don't think it is and I'm not sure how far into this I want to walk I mean there do seem to be seldom used paths through here and this kind of looks like a trail could be just an animal trail I don't know it does not appear to be a human foot traffic trail I don't see anything that would appear to be an official trail and I'm not sure how much I want to trounce around in here only because I'm not really geared up to do any bushwhacking the bugs aren't too bad but the more you bushwhack the worse the bugs will get I might I might have to forego that little earth earthen trail and wooden footbridge that I saw and have to come back and do that at a later date somebody's been in here though this is I mean they chopped this down that's not uh, natural same here I mean it, it might be a path I don't know there's a small creek over there that looks actually that looks really wet might be a spring up that way that comes down but I don't I don't think I much feel like bushwhacking today again I'm not I'm not prepared for that see and then we have a little stream right there how cool is that I'm very wet right there okay I'm back on the trail the official trail looking for anything that would resemble an official trail to get down to that <coughs> creek area and I am just not finding anything other than this hill right here and I'm wondering 
if maybe that little wooden bridge and such that I saw might be private property now that I think about it. Okay, here's here, here's what I'm looking at. Okay, at this trail, and this that is extremely steep. I'd have I could get up and down it easily enough, but there are there's there's no discernible trail down there. The trail just goes about 50 feet and then nothing. Across the creek, maybe off a log and a jump. There's another log over there that crosses out there. Might be able to walk across that. But the trail doesn't go to that. And again, I don't see any official trails over there on the other side of the creek. Let's take a gander from this observation deck here. See, I could cross on this tree here, I could get across, but there aren't any trails over there that I can see. This is quite the dilemma. Let me, let me go back to when we first got here and we went down those wooden steps. Let's back this way a little bit. And we'll see if maybe there is an official trail. Again, that, that, that very well could be private property. It's fairly common to tell the truth. We'll find out. I could climb down through here but uh, again it doesn't really lead to any type of an official trail but someone built a wooden walk bridge that crosses that creek you spin this around so you can see my pretty face